Hi, I'm Emily Tavone. I'm a sophomore at Mercy High School. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about like my life with Christ and how we can use our life to impact other people. So starting in junior high, I tried to fit in. I did the wrong things to find popularity, to um, find approval. I hung out with the wrong people who impacted my life in the wrong way. Um, I began to find my identity in my actions and in my popularity rather than in Jesus. Moving to a new school, I had new nerves. And after eighth grade, my parents and I decided to move from Churchville to Our Lady of Mercy. And that was really scary because I didn't really know anyone. I um, wasn't sure of myself and who I was. Um, but I began to realize God and who he was and what he had for me. So during this change, I started to realize how God impacts you in different ways. And it doesn't matter what stage of life you're in, good or bad, he still impacts you. Um, and I started to learn how God uses me, and he uses everyone. And it doesn't matter um, who you impact, and it doesn't matter who, like, what is affected, but God still uses you. And over the first couple months of changing and transition, I started to grow closer to God and realize what he really had for me. Um, and I learned that God is always faithful. I was in, I had constant anxiety. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything. But God showed me that there's purpose. And I started to see things more clear. He brought me out of that rut of anxiety to being very happy, to being just so amazingly joyful and really enjoying my life. Um, I started to see things more clearly of who he was and what he wanted for me. So in John 14, 6, it says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Before we knew ourselves, Jesus knew us in our lives, and he wanted to be a part of his life and his plan. Um, he wants us to choose him. He gives us the choice. And he wants us to pick him and love him. Um, when we start to find our identity in God, it brings us new life. And we start to see things differently. We start to have a new perspective on life. And he brings us provisions and new opportunities and new people. And God used me in ways that I never thought he would. He helped me impact people in church and in school, and he gave me new joy, and he gave me everything that I ever needed to live. Um, at school, I started a Bible club, what I thought I never would do. Um, I was really scared to talk about my faith at school, but God brought me out of that and gave me a new identity and said, you need to go and you need to help people. You need to bring God to people. And to see people's hearts changed by that and God work through me, like, I was amazed. So one thing that I want you guys to get out of this is how can we use our new life to be used by God for others? We need to be transparent. We can't hide anything from people. We need to be open about our faith. We need to have, we need to be real with people. Everyone is dealing with stuff. We all have baggage. So we can't judge someone at face value. We can't judge them for what they're saying or what they're doing because when people are struggling, they tend to say things and do things that they don't mean. And I think that it's so important to go deeper, to support people, to help people, to be behind them in all times. Um, we have to be willing to allow Jesus to give us life and use us in his plan. If we deny Jesus using us, we deny people the kingdom of God. And when we deny people the kingdom of God, they don't have the life that we have. We have to allow God to speak through us in our actions. We have, our actions have to be like God. We can't be acting in a way that God doesn't want us to act because then that won't be helping people have the life that we have. When you allow Jesus to work through you and give you new life, he uses you to impact other people and give them the exact new life that you have. Thank you.